local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. All is quiet here locally. All is quiet here regionally. To only to find any sort of rain showers, you have to head towards Alabama or up, say, towards Michigan. And there may even be a couple of showers towards Kansas. Regardless, all these areas are far, far away from where we live here in Virginia. And it looks like our next weather maker will be that guy right there, a cold front. This blue line represents big changes for us. This cold front is going to change everything for us. It's going to swing in Wednesday night into Thursday. Initially, it's going to bring us the chance for some spotty showers and a couple of thunderstorms. But behind it, we turn much, much cooler. Keep in mind, fall starts Thursday evening. The first full day of fall is Friday, and it's going to feel like fall as we really start out the season. We're going to be very, very warm, arguably hot on Wednesday, and then temperatures drop about 20 degrees from Wednesday into Friday. So a very nice fall like end to the work week for us. How much rain are we going to get out of this next little cold front? The answer is not much. Most of us we'll see less than a tenth of an inch of rain if you see any rain at all. More of us will actually stay dry than get wet, with perhaps the best chance for this isolated activity being in the mountains. I think our westernmost areas have a better chance for a couple of showers in comparison to our easternmost areas. So if there are any showers on Thursday, they should be gone by Thursday evening, which is good news for the Virginia Tech West Virginia football game. Kickoff Thursday at 730 kickoff temperature likely mid to upper 60s falling to near 60 by around 10 o'clock for the game. It's breezy. We're turning cooler with skies. Nothing worse than partly cloudy. Right now, the dew points are in the upper 50s. It's pretty tolerable outside. Believe it or not, though, those muggies may increase for us tomorrow. Could actually be somewhat humid for us on Wednesday, but then this front swings by, and not only will it pull in cooler air, it's going to pull in drier air. So those dew points will go way down as we head into Friday and Saturday. So it's going to be a nice, cool, crisp start to your day on Saturday. Ditto on Sunday. Right now, temperatures stand mid to upper 50s in Withville, a little milder in Blacksburg, 62. Still 72 in Roanoke. That's the hot spot. 65 in Lynchburg, low to mid 60s. Hot Springs, Covington and Lexington. Let's go zone by zone for tomorrow. High temperatures in the NRV around 85, 87 in the Highlands, 89 in Roanoke, near 90 in both the Lynchburg and the south side zones. For tonight, mostly clear, mild, maybe a little bit of fog developing later tonight. Overnight lows between about 53 and 60 for the day tomorrow. We're going to call it hot because a couple folks could get near 90 and we don't have that much left in September. Overall, though, we're going to be mainly sunny, maybe a little more cloud cover later in the day. Your extended forecast showing highs falling into the lower 70s on Friday, middle 70s on Saturday, lower 80s on Sunday. Then we're back into the 70s Monday, Tuesday. I think the best chance for rain area wide will come late Sunday, especially into Monday. Monday looks to be pretty wet for us. We'll see more sun by next Tuesday.